For fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 22 coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. Use code MMG for 10% off. Playoff season! Ladies and gentlemen, the taste of defeat, the bitter taste of defeat in last season's playoffs still sits with me. It aches at every inch of my being every single time I think of a Wheel of Mutt game. No matter how many dubs I get, no matter how many clutch comebacks we have, no matter how many times I roll out to the wrong side with Tim Tebow, none of it matters unless we get that big, fat, juicy ring in the Super Bowl. I will not be the Tennessee Titans. I will not be the Buffalo Bills. I will not be the Kansas City Chiefs. I will not be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Today, we're gonna be the Rams. We're gonna be Joe Shicey and the Bengals, and we're gonna charge into the playoffs, slap our heater down on the table, and secure the bag. That's what we do, baby. We were built for this. I was born to make these videos, and I will not crumble today. The pain I felt after losing that last Super Bowl run? I'll never get over it. All I can do is look forward and make every single season even better. Here is your lineup headed into the playoffs plus whatever two wheel spins we get today. Tebow, you guys gotta cut me a little bit of slack, okay? I've seen the comments about rolling out the wrong way. I understand. Take into account I have been using Jalen Hurts and Jake Plummer, both right-handed quarterbacks, rolling out right. Adrian Peterson, Very jukebox nice. backfield master, absolutely elite. Wide receivers are really not that good. That's probably one of the weakest points on this team. Debo is getting better. And by the way, I saw your guys' comments about the power-up player. I love your comments. One person mentioned, hey, for every 100 yards Debo gets, you also should be able to upgrade a level. So let's say Debo had 100 yards and two touchdowns in a game. That would be three upgrades. I love that idea, but I have already set the rules for this Debo. So for this season, we're continuing just touchdowns with Debo. But for next season's power-up player, I will absolutely keep that in mind. I also saw some of your guys' suggestions if we did a power-up defensive player. Player. I'll put some more thought to it and I'll get back to you guys because I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that yet. Defensively, I feel so good about our team. Sure, I'd like to get Kerrigan and Armstead out of there, but I really feel good about it. For today's episode, if I can choose an upgrade, 88 center, that's kind of got to go. I wouldn't mind a super good wide receiver. As much as I'd still want to power up Devo, I really don't have that much. A backup tight end uh, would be amazing. Max Williams has been poverty. And then yeah, if I have to go defensive, D-tackle, left end, or a cornerback three, not Divine Diablo. The most important thing I could get is a focused kicker. Going to play as a focus kicker would ease my nerves so much. But beggars cannot be choosers, ladies and gentlemen. I am at the whim of the wheel, and let's spin it. Wait, 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 wait. Can we talk about something real quick? I titled the video, This Hole is Gaping Wide. Oh. I instantly got demonetized for it. I thought it was hysterical, and literally, like, nobody noticed. I thought, like, it might have gotten removed from YouTube. I thought, like, everybody was gonna notice. I swear to God, only, like, 10 people noticed. How did that fly by, you guys? Or, or do you just expect that from me now? That hole is gaping wide, bro. This is a title you would see on the hub. It's literally a hub title. Vina Sky mentioned something about that to me when we were hanging out. <coughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first two wheel spins of the playoffs. Let's dial it up. Let's dial it in. Let me see who I can get three. Oh, 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 that's super good. Holy shit. A whole lot just happened. Playoffs jackpot is amazing. There's so much I could choose from here. The only question is who's gonna fit on the team? There is a 96 overall Diggs. There's a 96 Nick Scott. I'm tempted actually to get that McCole Hardman, dude. Bro, I think I have to get McPherson. McPherson comes with focus kicker baked in, I'm pretty sure. Focus kicker baked in. He's a 96 overall. He has 80 speed. This is literally the best. Look look in the bottom left. Looks like we're going to the AFC championship. This dude is a sniper. He was four for four against the Raiders, four for four against the Titans, and four for four against the Chiefs. He was an essential part of this incredible playoff run from the Cincinnati Bengals. And I'm a kicker myself. I gotta add the kicker to the team. I can't believe I just used a jackpot on a 96 overall overall kicker, but I did say it was the most important thing I could add to this team. So we're going to do it. Evan McPherson, we're going to activate focus. Oh my God. It lets us get focus kicker for one AP. Does that mean I can get another ability on my fucking kicker? Are you kidding? Oh my God. I can add another ability. That's insane. So look, focus kicker is two AP, but since it's baked on, oh my God, I'm having a kicker with two fucking abilities. Immunity to the ice, the kicker effect. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> I can't believe we just did this. Never in my life have I uh, had that combination because it's never been possible. All right, McPherson, good to see you, baby. Ask and you shall receive. I got my playoffs jackpot kicker. Let's go. It's McPherson of all people, dude. I love him. Absolute sniper. Our next wheel spin is a 94. 
to 95 on the team wheel. All right, boys, we can get any 94 to 95 player, but they must come from not the Jets, bro. Not the... Maybe I shouldn't say that yet. Maybe the Jets. Who am I kidding? The Jets aren't gonna have dick for shit. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. They have a Darrell Revis. We can put him on Revis Island. They also have Kevin Mawit. That is actually, wow. Okay, number one, I gotta apologize. I have two amazing options here. I'm sorry, Jets fans. I know you don't really exist, so you're not really gonna hear me say this, but I'm sorry. There's this Kevin Mawit right here, an 88 to a 95 center, or we upgrade 89 Divine Diablo. I'm not gonna lie, Metcalf scares me a little bit. I can never tell if Metcalf is good or bad. What I've noticed with that Metcalf card is he either plays amazing or he plays poorly. It likely has something to do with him being an out of position card. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Revis Island, I'm gonna put him in where DK is, and I'm gonna take DK and move him to Divine Diablo's spot. Divine Diablo is coming out of the lineup, and I think we've made the correct decision. Acrobat for two AP, and we're gonna throw Darrell Revis in this lineup, and I'm actually, wow, the Jets. Dude, because we had Vilma too for a little bit. We had Vilma and Quincy Williams. Wow, this sounds so weird. The Jets are really helping our playoff push. Oh, we're still at 92, but Revis Island is in. We got Revis, Ramsey, DK Metcalf. I love this defense. Oh, if we've ever been ready it's right now there is nothing more i can do to prepare there is no more stalling it is time to hop in this game let's go baby all right the madden 22 challenge wheel after this lands i'll refresh you guys on the rules super quick and then we're hopping into this game our challenge is a 140 plus qbr at no point this season i think have i gotten that qbr with tebow because i throw like an idiot but it is the playoffs i'm hoping i can play a little less sketchy now as you guys should know the challenge wheel if i complete it i can get one pack from the store but if it's in the playoffs it is any pack in the store it doesn't matter if it's training or coins and since team of the year is in the training store right now if i can complete this challenge and win this game not only will i lock in my players and move on i can i can also get a team of the year player on my team i don't get to choose who but I'll get one random team of the year player. Ooh, I'm nervous as hell. Let's go! We got Big Cat, Josh Allen, Michael Irvin, Tyreek Hill. You know, I want to look at his team and say it's not very good and get excited. But he made it to the playoffs, same as me. Oh my God, he's in his NFC Championship. Not only is he in the playoffs, but he's won two straight games in the playoffs. He's already into the NFC Championship. Let's go nickel, 3-3-5 three, three, wide. And hopefully not let it anything deep over the top to start this game out. Oh, play action. He beams one up to Irvin! No! Play action again. I'm going in with Isaiah Simmons. Oh, what? He actually handed it off. We gotta slow down. Let's slow the momentum here. Yes! That's what we needed right now. Could be a run play. I kind of expect the run. Just to pick this up. Yup. Yup! Oh my god. Just a little underneath. Second and three. Okay, he's gonna throw this zig! Oh my god, we were so close to fucking picking that. Oh, I'm on the wrong dude. This is bad. Oh, maybe not. Bruh. What? What? He just walked through Ryan Kerrigan. What was that? That's tough, but this is the playoffs. It's no time to make excuses or be mad. What happened, happened. It is seven to zero. Let's get a great drive to return this. A 140.9 QBR is secondary to winning the game. Winning the game is the only thing I care about right now. Yup. Ooh! The air truck, the double air trucks! Totally on accident. Let's keep completing passes. Yeah. QBR, baby. Yup, a little, little duck dive. <laughs> dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That's how we do it, baby. Nice work, Waller. Also, I double teamed that guy, but he did not get double teamed. What the fuck? Obviously, not what I want here, but God, his pass rush is getting to me so fast, though. I'm going there, Waller! What is that animation? I hate that animation. He had it wide open. Make a bad decision! Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? He's gonna throw this check down. Please, somebody, please! What a throw! There is Debo. What a beautiful pass on fourth and inches. Oh, here we go. Wow. Second and four. I really don't know. So look, I'm double teaming far left. If they don't double team and I am going to be a little upset. Okay, so they just ignore my fucking request. They just ignore it. I'm setting double teams and they don't give a fuck. Okay, so this is a Tampa two right. I'm pretty sure Waller should be open over top of this. Oh, they are dropping back. Okay. 
McPherson can hit this from 56. Thank God we got a focus kicker. Offense is so difficult right now. We have a focus kicker who can fucking laser from deep. I'm going to try this right here to Metcalf. I don't, I don't know what this sets up like, but... I can Tom Brady this all the way down the field. I think Debo will get open on the slant now. Yup! Yup! Debo! Yes, sir! Right up the middle is Debo! And we're not gonna fumble! Holy shit, I did not like that one bit! I might do peaks on bubble here. Third and two. We need a great block out of Metcalf. Give me a block. Give me a block, Metcalf! I see you! And we're in! Let's go! Oh, God, this game! I cannot believe that the peak zone bubble meta is finally back! I wonder if he will run the ball. He likes his checkdowns. I probably should be playing underneath for a checkdown. I am not. He wants to throw this. Yup, 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 yup. Big hit! Okay, okay. Oh, no. Bro! This is gonna be the pass. He's going right back to the pass he started with. Oh, okay. Ooh, another giant hit on the Tyree kill, but he snags it. I got a QB spy. I got underneath. The Zig is not there. It's not there. He throws it again. And our brand new pickup, Darrell Rivas, is gonna house this shit in the NFC Championship. Check down Central. Let's. Go! I saw him make the route. I called cover two underneath and he still throws it. He marched his ass all the way to the nine. No questions asked. And then he choked it. I just don't get it. All right, I got all these clamps. And Ryan Kerrigan. Ryan Kerrigan making up for that missed tackle in the first quarter. Second and 21, he is in no huddle. What I might call desperation mode. None of these are open. You know what? I might as well blitz Shaq Thompson. He's sitting back there thinking about these plays for so long. You can throw left side if you want. <sighs> Just in case we stop him and he quits. I need to see his QBR. It's 116.9? Really? Wow. Tebow must need more yards because he's 13 for 16 and a touchdown. If I had to guess, I think he just went on YouTube to see how to beat my defense. Oh, that's fine. Stay in bounds! Wait, they're giving him that? Oh, I can't believe they just gave that to him. Wait, you're not handing it off, are you? He's not asking any questions. Uh-oh, I was actually on the wrong dude there. Come on, Warren Sapp here. Chase Young! Chase Young! Is he just gonna let this game end? He's not even calling a timeout. Fourth and 25 is gonna bomb one up to Tyreek. We're just gonna wait on it. You know, it almost looked like he was gonna come down with that. Darrell Revis, that is why we picked up Darrell Revis. There's 29 seconds. I am gonna try and score another touchdown here and see if that elevates Tebow to a 140. Plus, if it could be a Debo touchdown, how sick would that be? Debo! Wait, he's there! Debo! Come on! Debo Samuel's getting an upgrade! Oh, he missed. No way. This guy is built the same, and I am built different. I just fucking sauced on him. Oh, that was gross. Wait a second. Can I get another one with Debo? If he follows with Neo, it's not possible. Fuck it. Fuck it. Debo! He's low-key open. 14 for 18, 143, two touchdowns. I'm not gonna air it out to Debo. Here's the problem. If I air it out to Debo, I mess up the QBR. And if, if I were to miss, I don't know what the QBR is, but it might. So I'm just gonna throw a check down and just get free QBR points here. Yes, get in the end zone. <laughs> 15 for 21, 55, two touchdowns. That's a great game. Two touchdowns. I had a 116.9 before the last tutty. We had a really scary start, but this is Wheel of Mutt playoffs, and I want to get you guys a Super Bowl on the day of the real life Super Bowl. So I owe you one of my best games of Madden. And if you take out my first drive on offense, if you just erase that from your memory, that was a hell of a game. Now, this is the moment of truth. Did I get above a 140 QB? <laughs>
think that final Debo touchdown definitely would have elevated us, but Debo dropped it, obviously. Not Debo's fault. The first one, I can't even believe he caught the first one. Hey, he was a contested catch, so good for him. Damn, I actually feel kind of bad, though. I just clapped somebody's NFC championship. And I didn't just beat him. I shit on him. It was 25 to 7 at the end of that. Wild card playoff game in the books. Next up is the divisional, but for now, we can hang on to this beautiful team and we can add an upgrade to Debo Samuel. So this one takes him to a 90. The next one is a really big one. Takes him up to 94 speed. After that, he's a 95. And you know, it could be beautiful, perfect timing. If I get one touchdown per game with him, it will be his 98 max in the Super Bowl. We will have that beautiful player of the year, Debo Samuel, in the Super Bowl. 97 speed, 98 excel, 98 awareness, 97 catching, 98 catching. A beast. All right, boys, that is it for today's episode. Some defensive upgrades. 95 Darrell Revis with, without a doubt, the play of the game. That pick six changed the momentum. And from there, I think he was just demoralized. Darrell Revis, that's why we needed you, baby. And Evan McPherson. Hey, clutch kick before half. Added him up and we've got a focus kicker on the squad. All right, boys, I love you. Thank you for watching as always. And I will see you in the divisional playoff game. Let's get the shmoney, boys. Let's go.